A gruesome crime unfolded on a moonless night against Mr. Kalisto Muzumbi, a businessman from Entombani, a suburb in Zimbabwe's second largest city of Ulawayo. Kalisto Muzumbi was a 39-year-old man and he was well known in his community. He lived a peaceful life running his business and enjoying the comforts of his family. However, fate had other plans. On the 3rd of October 2023, as the clock struck midnight, he was returning home from his shop. He had no idea that there were people who had tracked his movements and knew that he always arrived late with the money from his shop. As he disembarked from his vehicle to open the gate to his house, three men pounced on him, catching him off guard. A struggle ensued and Mozumbi fought valiantly to protect himself from the robbers. Unfortunately, in the chaos, one of the men had a kitchen knife and he stabbed Muzumbi just above the left collarbone. The blade pierced through his flesh and he cried out in pain. Blood stained the ground as he staggered, desperately trying to reach safety. Despite his wound, he managed to crawl towards his house. Because they lived near a shopping center, it is usually a hive of activity, especially human traffic. So when the neighbors heard a scuffle, they thought it was just usual noise. They only reacted when he screamed Amasela and they suddenly realized that there was a robbery in their street. When they left their homes to investigate, they noticed Muzumbi as he was holding on to his bag, which the assailants were trying to wrestle from him. Upon noticing that the neighbors were alert, the assailants then abandoned the robbery and took to their heels, leaving Kalisto bleeding. Muzumbi then managed to struggle, balancing himself on the wall until he got to the back door, which led to the kitchen, where he called out to his wife to open the door. When the wife opened the door, he gave her the bag, instructing her to get back into the house and lock the doors because he wasn't sure if they would return. He had with him a red woolen hat, which one of the assailants had dropped as they fled. Callisto fell and was never able to stand again, but with the assistance of some neighbors, they managed to lift him up to the car outside so that they could rush him to the hospital. But somehow, the car could not start, which forced them to go and take another car from the car park. He died as soon as they arrived at the hospital, and the police were alerted. After a few days, they managed to apprehend Munashe Modumbo, a 21-year-old, Eric Gunda, a 22-year-old, and another individual who is still on the run. They were caught because of the head that was left at the crime scene and also because Mudimu, one of the two, had been seen with blood on his clothes the night of the murder. They were remanded into custody and are yet to be tried. Inspector Abed Nigungove, the provincial police spokesperson, issued a warning to the public. He advised against carrying money around, especially at night, as it attracts criminals. The investigation continues to search for the outstanding suspect. The list of Mozumbi's life was cut short, but his memory serves as a reminder to stay vigilant, to bank our money and not keep cash at the home. May his soul continue to rest in peace.